These aircraft are highly modified Christian Eagle biplanes that started life as two place. They are home-built aircraft and they had a four-cylinder engine. They now carry the idle five-cylinder fuel-injected engine spinning a three-bladed M-Y-L-L engine. as they go into the second set of loops down here on the right side. These aircraft weigh about 1,200 pounds and they've been modified to carry 67 gallons of gas. It gives the aircraft a flight duration of about four hours. Out here on the right side, they've separated just a little bit for the hammerhead formation turnaround. The top speed on this aircraft is a little over 200 miles an hour, and they treat about 175 miles an hour. They perform a wing over and bring the aircraft back to our demonstration area for the formation barrel roll. between the aircraft completely all the way through that maneuver. Here on the right side, Bill Gordon's half Cuban now. As he comes out on a 45 degree angle on the down line, he'll hold the aircraft in the inverted position. Billy Sagella will start a maneuver called the Barber Pole Roll. They're both home-built aircraft, and the aircraft that Bill Gordon is flying, the number one airplane, is an airplane that he constructed in a period of 12 months from the day he opened the crate. Center. One aircraft will half roll, and they'd like to density this maneuver all the from the 104th fighter wing. Going to the opposite end of the runway, using that half Cuban eight turning maneuver up into the vertical, rolling to the inverted for the reverse half Cuban eight, and down the back side. As they approach Air Show Center with a closing speed of over 300 miles an hour, they'll perform the opposing slow roll. Over across the top and down on a 45 degree downline half rolling the aircraft, bringing us back to our demonstration area for the opposing four point roll. There's one, two the inverted, three, and the four point concentration roll. Once again, they'll take the aircraft right straight up in the vertical, climbing for altitude and rolling the aircraft all the way around. Up on top, the airspeed goes almost to zero, and they'll bring the aircraft right back down about 20 feet off their runway and build up a lot of speed as they approach Air Show Center. Go 
Bill Jordan goes up into the vertical out here on the right side. Depleting that airspeed, turning it into altitude. You look at the top of one airplane and the bottom of the other. Up on top, once again, a hard kick of the rudder. Right straight back down, quarter roll in the aircraft. The approach here shows Senator Bill full hard on the stick, catching it up in the loop. Vertical loop again. One aircraft completes the full loop. The other will complete five eighths of the loop for the half cube and eight. And exit there shows Senator. to fly on their side as they bring it back for the head-on knife edge pass. The first line creates all the lift and it's the slow surface to get all reversed and turned around. The aircraft slowed down to about 145. Get out of 45 and kick it all the way around for the opposing head-on tempo. Smoke is still on. Watch for the pitch up and the half roll to the upside down position. Right there is the pitch up with the half roll. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kansas. That air looks to be just a little bit puffy out there. As you can see Billy's airplane bounce around and the turbulence coming off that lead aircraft flown by Bill Gordon. And Billy flies it into the vehicle up on top. Oh, 
Bill Gordon rolls out. These aircraft are equipped with a side-mounted throw-over type canopy. It is jettisonable in case they're grabbed over a great Barrington mass. He's from Copac, New York. A very, very talented guy. An excellent mechanic. And touching down behind him is Billy Segala from Canaan, Connecticut. <laughs> 